Backyard Bullion here, and a warm welcome to you all joining me for an In Focus Sunday. Normally we would take a good close look at something cool made of silver or gold on a Friday, but this week has been a particularly busy week with sponsored content, and the Germania Mint have very generously sent me through their latest creation and release, which is the one ounce Germania for 2021. A really interesting round, not coin. I will inevitably say coin at some point in this video, and I apologize in advance for doing that. But it's a very, very attractive piece. And whilst it's been sent to me for free, this is in no way a quid pro quo. I want to make that abundantly clear. Uh, we are here to give an open, honest, fair review of this particular product. And then it's up to you guys whether you like it enough to go and buy it from whoever you can find it for sale from. They have numerous different dealers, approved dealers around the world. Uh, so if you're interested, I'm sure you can find it from one of your big local or online bullion dealers. We are not tied financially to the success of this particular product either. It really is just for your information only. And if you want to find out more, there are links to the Germania Mints website down in the description box of this video. So let's have a good close look at this particular round and see what it's all about. So Germania itself, the flagship product, the sort of generic round, I suppose you could call it, but let's be honest, there's nothing generic about this particular product and any of the products from the Germania Mint, to be quite frank, because they're all very, very attractive and stunningly well-made as well. You can see the care and attention that goes into the entire product. We've got here a very well-packaged box, little foam insert with the Germania branded paper there, and then, of course, the uh, cardboard sleeve that holds the... Uh, round in place, nearly said coin, haven't done it yet, but holds this in place, which is very, very good, very nice and attractive. I like the finish on this, I like the emblem, the crest, everything about this is nice, and of course the big branding on the back there. It's all about branding these days, and the Germania Mint most certainly has got that nailed down. We also have a certificate of authenticity that comes with these pieces as well, so you can see all of the different information there, official coins of the Germania Mint. That's, I take slight umbrage with that, because whilst they are coin shaped and look like coins it is still about the legal actual status of them being rounds not coins because the marks that's on the back are not and anyway that has implications for european customers about tax status and whether or not they're vatable and sales tax has to be applied but anyway here is the particulars of the coin so it's a one ounce four nines fine silver 38.61 diameter and 25,000 as a mintage. So unchanged in its kind of raw basics from previous years, but still a very attractive and low mintage premium option for people. I think it's a, a great little piece, a great little package, all things told. Uh, one of the nice things is the capsule as well. Of course, every particular product comes in their own capsules. Get the camera to focus, and it's kind of like a fish eye capsule. So you can see there the camera uh, kind of showing the sort of depth of the capsule and the angle there. And that allows you to get a little bit of a zoomed in look almost at the actual uh, features of the uh, product itself, the round. So now what I'm gonna do is actually open the capsule and show the coin uh, outside of the capsule because it is beautiful, it is glorious and it deserves to have that full showcasing. Don't worry about me holding it with bare hands. This is just mine to keep and it's going in that kind of forever box as a wonderful little thing to uh, to have as a sponsored item from the Germania Mint. Um, I wouldn't recommend necessarily holding these with your bare hands yourselves, but here is the product, the round, out of the capsule. It looks really very attractive, very stunning indeed. Lots of very intricate details uh, all over this face of this particular round. It is wonderful and I have to commend the Germania Mint for their absolutely stunning craftsmanship and production quality. And there are various mints around the world, some close to home in the United Kingdom, that could take great uh, notes from the production quality of other mints. And this uh, is certainly showcasing the absolute sheer production quality here. No major milk spots or uh, dings and dents and damage. It seems like the uh, production, uh, you know, is really very good. And then the quality control, I guess, is either not needed quite as much or it is very robust as well. But either way, you end up with a pretty stunning product at the end. And that is commendable to the Germania Mint. So this particular one here is, of course, the one ounce BU. There are a bunch of other... Uh, issuings in different sizes and one which is a silver proof as well uh, in fact and a gold proof uh, with various different mintages I'll just run through them very quickly so the one ounce gold proof is a mintage of 100 and it will actually come with a sort of plain uh, field finish so you see this kind of radial radial pattern background 
there. That wouldn't be on the proof versions. It would, I believe, just be a smooth finish. Obviously, as a 100 minted product, it's going to be very high in premium, so not going to be for everybody at all. Then we move into the silver, and we've got this, of course, as the silver BU, 25,000 mintage. The silver proof one ounce has a thousand mintage. That again is going to be a very premium product, as you would expect for any kind of proof silver coins uh, or rounds. And then we move up in sizes of the silver BUs to 2 ounce, 10 ounce, and 1 kilo. Now, traditionally and in the past, the Germania Mint have made these in different sizes where they've increased the thickness. So you can see here the profile of the 1 ounce, and if you can imagine, the 10 ounce would have been 10 times as thick. But now they're changing the diameter of their products rather than the thickness, which is really, really good. I've been saying it on nearly every single review that I've done in the past where that's happened, that it is important, I think, to have the bigger profile of the diameter so you can really get more detail, more features on the coin. It really exemplifies any of the designs, so that's very good for them. Now, obviously, I don't have any of the additional sizes here to showcase for you, but when you look at the marketing material and the different images of the different uh, sizes, you can see that actually it's not just the same image that is replicated but bigger, it's actually a zoomed out image of this same scene. So you get on the kilo versions, you get Germania with the majority of the ship underneath. And you can see this uh, kind of crest, the Germania Mint logo crest there, just sort of half on or even just a third of it on there, the double headed eagle. So on the bigger versions, that's in full view. There's even an anchor on the side of the ship. It's absolutely incredible. And it's a really clever little metric there. If you wanna get the whole picture of these products, then getting out uh, to that big size is the only way that you can do it. Uh, mintage wise on the others, we've got two and a half thousand for the two ounce silver, a thousand for the 10 ounce silver and a hundred for the kilo. So a really, really tiny mintage for that kilo. And it would be an incredible sight to behold with a, with a diameter of a hundred millimeters. So 10 centimeters, that's quite significant. If we get here, my old school ruler, I mean, this one here, you're looking at, you know, triple the, triple the diameter, it's gonna be big. I would be very interested in grabbing hold of one of those if I can find it at a decent price because part of the problems with, well, any silver product at the moment for us in the United Kingdom is getting hold of them without paying a humongous premium with VAT added. Now, that is less of a problem with the Germania Mint's products and it all stems from this question of the five mark denomination, whether or not it's actually a coin or whether it's a round. Now in the European Union very strange tax rules means that if it's a coin in certain countries it can be sold tax free. However if it's not then it's pretty much taxed at full VAT rate. So actually for us in the past buying this has always been very expensive, high premium. Now it's exactly the same. So if you buy some regular coin from Europe it's going to be taxed on entry, but now it shouldn't be taxed at the main country and it should be taxed on entry. So it would be the same price as it always was been, which is great. So hopefully it might be a potential to pick up something that's actually seemingly better value for money. I have said throughout this whole post-Brexit and sales tax and premium hike that's been going on in the world of bullion that any premium product is more attractive right now, uh, whether it be these kind of premium products from the Germania Mint or whether it's just proof coins or poured silver, whatever it is, I think those represent better value than just bog standard bullion brand new anyway. So really interesting concepts there and we'll just have to see how that pans out, whether or not there's something, but I would be interested in a kilo version for sure. That would be a pretty epic thing to see and showcase. Uh, now, as I said earlier in the video, these are not necessarily for sale directly from the Germania Mint, I think, unless you're basically a wholesale purchaser, uh, but there definitely will be uh, plenty of these to go around from your big bullion dealers online and potentially local coin stores as well that are you know the bigger ones um so that's definitely something to watch out for i don't have an exact idea of when dealers would get these but it will probably be pretty soon uh going on sort of past uh history from germania mints kind of product releases and viral marketing where they send these out to various different youtubers it would probably be within the next couple of weeks to a month um, but yeah it's a, it's a really nice piece i like the kind of elegance of it and in terms of the design we haven't really talked too much about it but of course here we see lady germania i'll just read you what they've described from their uh, description so lady germania in a daring pose on the bow of a sailing vessel appears to be leading her people on a journey into broad waters traditionally crowned with a laurel wreath she is clad in her armor and falling cloth in her hands she wields the imperial sword Reichfurt, 
and a flag fluttering in the wind. What makes the 2021 coin extraordinary is the broadening perspective of the obverse on the subsequent coins in the series, the 1, 2, 10 ounce and kilo versions. So there I say you see this zooming out effect on the different sizes. So really, really good. Nice stuff from the Germanian Mint and a uh, really attractive product. As always as well with the double-headed eagle and the two lightning bolts on the other side. Just very, very elegant, very attractive, wonderful design, wonderful quality, wonderful mint. Uh, technology to get this looking quite so good. So, all things told, I'm, I'm you know in terms of looks, feels, and everything, I'm going to give this a nine out of ten. The only thing that's really setting it back for me is, of course, it being a high premium product, and it's not necessarily going to be for everybody. It's in no, no way sort of financial advice, but from experience, I do see that these products are retaining their premium and certainly earning higher ones on uh, earlier mintages with you know, sort of smaller mintages on these, even just regular one ounce versions. You do see uh, fewer of them coming up for sale. They very much are the kind of thing that you would mess, maybe get sort of one or two of into your collection rather than a massive uh, roll of them, for example, and stack them. But they are attractive and they are op you know, options out there for people who are looking for a slightly more premium product that is a little bit more elegant and, of course, well made. It's absolutely stunningly well made. Really excellent quality. So there we have the Germania 2000. And 21. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section about this particular product and what you think about it. What are your thoughts? What's your score out of 10? It'd be really interesting to find out. And if you are interested in finding out more about this in particular product, then there's a link in the description to the Germania Mint's website. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much to the Germania Mint for sending me this to review and showcase for all of you guys out here. And thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do put a thumbs up on it and share it around through your social media. And if you're not subscribed to our channel and you'd like to see videos like this in the future, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, that is it from me today. A big thank you to you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.